let's have a conversation on mental health and music. Since the dawn of the recording industry, some artists have decided to make music solely for the fun moments in life, whereas others have always tried to push the boundaries in how they talk about society's different problems and issues within their sound. In the modern age, the conversation around mental health has grown increasingly more and more as the years have gone by and has been a staple topic in the SoundCloud generation subject material. The following are a list of artists who have talked about mental health and how it has affected them and their communities in different ways. Some of those artists are on SoundCloud, some aren't. However, I hope that you can appreciate the different ways that these people are talking about some very important issues. Isaiah Tizzy's lyrics are a standout within the underground community for how he uses FL Studios to paint an ambient plug picture of the daily lives and emotions of black youth going through the traumas and experiences that the world they're born into brings to them. In his song, What Would You Do, he says, God done took all my friends, I can't take it no more. And then talking about what's wrong with you, can't fake it no more. If one more of my friends die, we gon' say some more. If I climb high, then they nigga, they gon' take me down. If I get rich around my niggas, they don't let me down. Pink scene, we swim too deeply until we drown. Love lives in dark, some roses from red or brown. If I die, baby, then bury me with the rest and the dogs. I think they pockets that sins and is they gon' get along. I'ma treat you right for a minute, but I'm just playing around. If I get so rich, I think God he gon' strike me down. Numbers and letters on pills, can't even remember now. I draw down on my damn knees. This first verse is a very good example of storytelling within rap. This first verse relates to the experience of black boys growing up getting progressively angrier and angrier at the world. As their friends are slain, their financial gain means less and less, and the pain creates a melancholic reality around them. These are subject materials that are often brought up within Isaiah's music. In a time period where the conversation around mental health is growing more and more every day, the purest way to see the reality of the psyche that many black men and boys are going through is of any music such as this. The following verse juxtaposes the first by offering a more poppy, confident, melodic aspect to the song, completing it, giving the full image of what it feels like to just be out with your friends on a regular night. You might be thinking about a lot of dark things, but there's also that cool song in the car that gets you all lit. Any conversation on mental health within hip hop will be incomplete without Lucky. Lucky is one of the pillar artists for how the underground generation discusses mental health within their plug influence rap music. From his first mixtape Alternative Trap until now with his latest offering Wake Up Lucky, he has consistently painted poetic pictures of the reality he's lived in, of a sometimes drug addict, sometimes drug dealer, living in Chicago, experiencing the life of an underground king. The following is an anonymous quote from a black fashion designer. Okay, so like from 2017, 10th grade era, for two weeks straight, I was listening to Watch My Back over and over, and felt like it was the only piece of music that really communicated the reasons why I was doing drugs and helped me get through that time period so I wasn't alone in that experience. Songs like Sunset, a single leading up to the Watch My Back mixtape, with standout production from Ugly Friend and lyrics from Lucky that created a punkish, almost grunge-like feeling, bringing his fans into a trance. Many fans compare Lucky concerts to church, 
a place where they're around a lot of others who can relate to the same experiences they'd had and for once let loose. Finally let go of some of the pain and traumas they've experienced that listening to Lucky's music was allowing them to get through. On the other side of SoundCloud, therein lies artists like Blady, contemporaries of artists such as Young Lean and Echo 2K. Blady has built a core fan base for himself that pulls from his music to a very emotional level. Like Lucky and Isaiah, he puts a lot of energy into creating worlds within his music that expresses all of his emotions. In the song Trendy, he says, Finally, we're moving the subject over to the artist Kalela. In her song, Send Me Out, Kalela is in love with a guy, but they're having trouble staying in touch and seem to be doing nothing but fighting. As soon as they see each other again, though, she's completely willing to try all over again. No matter how difficult it is, she wants to give him love and receive love in turn. However, there's everything in the way towards that happening. Oh, but 
As we move forward in the social conversation around mental health, awareness as a topic is discussed quite often in the modern era. However, due to the difficulties around finding resources for mental health issues, there are a lot of people unable to properly find what help they can get in their city. In the 432 Flux journalism team research, we found the following information from the National Institute of Mental Health that we believe can help someone seeking assistance in handling the struggles that come with life and having mental health diagnoses. When it comes to finding a healthcare provider for treatment of mental health illness, having a primary care provider to ask for screenings, explaining symptoms, getting referrals to mental health specialists, and preliminary care efforts to help as you transition into the help you're looking for can be a great first step. Searching for low-cost clinics in your insurance network can also help with getting that primary care provider if you don't have one. Furthermore, searching up your state's name and health services website, then clicking on the .gov responses can help you find city-specific information on places you can go to to seek care. Your local college, university, or medical school may offer treatment options as well, or be able to refer you to a place that will be more fitting for your situation. To find these, try searching on the website of a local university health center for their psychiatry, psychology, counseling, or social work departments. Spiraling through life, waiting for our communities to open and create space for us from our problems, while it's something that a lot of us go through, it isn't necessarily the best way to reach a healthy conclusion to those problems. For humanity to truly heal from societal issues plaguing it, we must both individually and collectively heal our wounds, and support one another along the journey of growth a human being goes throughout their life. The hypothesis would be that, once one takes the steps forward to elevate their situation, the resources in place can be used to create a slowly improving environment for the individual to be properly in a healthy, progressive lifestyle. This is, of course, impossible without a proper understanding of the person's problems from the people around them and proper sympathy towards their issues as the individual is making the steps towards healing from the things that have traumatized them and physically or mentally wounded them in their lives. Finally, some federal agencies offer resources for identifying healthcare providers and help in finding low-cost health services. On the screen are a few of those options. The Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, the Health Resources and Services Administration, Centers for Medical and Medicaid Services, and finally, the National Library of Medicine. Here are a few other examples I'd like to leave you with. The links to each of them will be in the description below. Please feel free to comment any thoughts you have on the various organizations, artists brought up in the video, or any other ways you believe this topic can be expanded on for a future video. This is just the first of many series of videos that will be coming out on the 432 Plug YouTube. We'll be making efforts towards talking about a very diverse amount of topics, having a well-educated, positive perspective on those topics, and promoting as many artists throughout that process as possible. Expect more soon. Thank you.